Yo, 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 it's your boy Zay Lifestyle. So I'm be talking about free will. Got a few notes. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm just gonna go all in on this one. So, so most of you are probably familiar with like, as far as like, you know, people are questioning like, does God, now while God, you know, he give us free will to do whatever, this, this, and that. Yes, but it does say in the Bible that we get to choose on how we live for the life or death. And it actually talks about that in Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 20. Whew. Whew. Sorry, y'all. Ran out of breath and trying to help my dudes on opening a Italian dress. And you know what I'm talking about? Like a plastic bottle. Had a hard time opening up, but I managed to open it. Well, let me go ahead and open up Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before this day of life and death and evil, and that I command these, this day of the Lord thy God, and walk in his ways, keep his commandments, statutes, and judgment, that thou mayest the most part shall bless the land with it. Is that the right book? I guess it, yeah, this is it. See, I have set this before thee. Yeah. And that command thee this day to the love of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and judgments, that thou mayst less live and multiply, and thus the Lord, the Lord thy God shall bless the land where thou goes to possess it. I had to reread that. But what this verse is pretty much saying is if you choose to live the way God lives, if you choose to obey his commandments, he will reward you. He done it through Moses. He done it with Solomon. He done it with pretty much everyone in the Bible. But however, if you choose to live the other way around, if you choose to live sinfully and you choose to do evil, I was talked about that in the Bible where you have your own judgment and you go through, you know, some punishments. That's gonna be a whole nother video though. But yeah. So in this life, we get to choose where we, how we wanna live. We get to choose, it's our choice. Then again, look, God, he's a merciful, loving, compassionate, and a jealous God. So it's up to you how you wanna live your life. But what God said what's in the Bible, what God says, his word, he will reward those who obey him. And I actually got notes on that too. This part goes to be another note of that. Post to be another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and add along to it. Reward awaits to those who obey God. God's love. And what happens when you, you choose to obey God? Let's say that you choose to live, have life over death. You chose life. So if you obey God, you know, his love is promised. And that's in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10. Let's pull it up real quick. And it says, If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the, thy Lord, the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes, which are written in the book of the law, that thou turn unto the Lord, fall in his God with all thine heart and with all soul. And read another verse, verse 11. For this commandment which I not command thee this day is not hidden from thee, near as far off. It is not in heaven that thou shalt say, who shall go up for us in heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear and do it. Neither is it beyond the sea that thou shalt show to say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and thy heart that thou mayest do it. So I set before thee this life and good and death and evil. And that I command thee this day, the Lord, the God of God, 
to walk in his way and to keep his commandments and statutes and his judgment that thou may must live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless in the land thy dogs goes to possess it. So, God will literally give you what you desire. God will literally multiply your blessings. He will go, He will really give you what your heart desires. And has God done that for me throughout my walk with Him? Of course. Of course. He has done that with me. But, you know, it's all, you know, let me tell you something. When it comes to being obedient towards God, it's going to, you know, lead you to a north if you want a narrow path, pretty much. You want a narrow path, you just say, you know, stick with it and trust God. And to be obedient towards the word. And like I said in the Bible, live, multiply. But also, when you obey God, he will grant you, I already talked about, he will grant you multiple blessings. He'll give you protection. Over your enemies, he'll give you protection. I'm gonna go ahead and put a Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 7. I definitely need to cut though. I'm not sure this is the same. Here we go. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be spitten before thy face. They shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. This is the verse. No, this is the book where God shows you blessings for yeah, blessings for obedience. Deuteronomy twenty-eight. But I'm going to go ahead and read, war, read more on this because, you know, it's all be along with the video. The Lord shall command blessings upon thee in thy storehouses and all that thou settest thine hand unto, I mean unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God give thee. The Lord shall establish thee in a holy people and send unto himself as hath sworn unto thee if thou shalt Keep the commandments of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. That's if you choose to be obedient towards God. If you choose life over death, that's the guarantee for God's going to give you when you choose to obey him. And it's like, oh yeah, that's what I'm, what I'm going to say. This goes along with the video. Like, God gives a free will, but he does not want us to sin like literally live a bad lifestyle pretty much because you know you can't like i said in the bible you can't serve two masters and you know god also says in the bible he does not want any of us to be of this world you know who controls this world satan god wants us to live walk holy he wants us to be his people to be holy and that's in the bible as well but when you live in to choose to listen to God and to obey God and to walk through the narrow path, I man, I got screen time screaming on this phone is quick on my other phone. But yeah, like God, He wants us to live free. He wants us to have freedom. Trust me, He wants us to have freedom. You know, I used to think that, you know, does God really want us to have freedom like that? But that was my misunderstanding of not who, really, how God really works, like who he is, because I didn't get into the word. I didn't read as much. So, yeah, he does want us to be free. He does want us to live a life that, you know, that we desire. Like, everything that we want in this world, everything we can have. But, you know, 
it's on us to, you know, to be obedient towards God. But like I said, God will grant you your heart's desires if you choose to obey him. Like I said, he did it with Solomon, Moses, everyone in the Bible. And also, know, like, God, he always keeps his promises. And I've been told by this so many times, like, God's not always there. We want to be there, but he's always there whenever, he's always on time. So, yeah. God gave us free will to live how he wants us to live. Not by how we live. I mean, yes, we did to do whatever we want. We have a choice on how we want to live, and, you know, as far as like what we do, what we say, you know. But then again, like I said, God wants us to live holy like Him. So, if you got anything you want to say about free will, if you got any verses, or if you got anything you like, you know, to add along to this video, let me know in the comments section. I'm down to hear what y'all have to say about this. But thanks for watching. If you made it to the end of this video. Make sure you turn on that post notifications while you're at it. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is a lifestyle. Love yourself. Protect yourself. Take good care of yourself. Read the word and stay prayed up. And I'll catch you on the next video. Signing out.